While working with large Excel file, sometimes we need to extract data from one sheet to another for the convenience of our work. We can easily do that by using the VVA macros. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VVA related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abdur Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to extract data from one sheet to another in Excel using VVA. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Let's say I have information about several students of Armani College. This dataset includes the name of the students, their identification number and their CGPA in columns B, C and D respectively. Now I'll use this dataset for demonstration purpose. In the first method, I'll extract data from the sheet named dataset to the destination worksheet using VVA code with the destination parameter of the range.copy method. To use VVA, you have to enable the developer tab in the ribbon. Right click on any tab on the ribbon and select customize the ribbon option on the context menu. It will open the Excel options window. In this window, check the box of developer option and click OK. Hence, the developer tab is now visible on the ribbon. Go to the developer tab in the code group select visual basic otherwise you can press alt plus f11 on the keyboard to do the same it will open the microsoft visual basic for applications window from the insert tab select module you can see a code module is inserted the advantage of inserting the code into the module is that you can run this macro in each sheet of this workbook now i'll type down my vva code into the module sub destination parameter this VVA macro copies the range of cells in the B4 to D16 range from the dataset sheet and pastes it into the destination sheet starting at cell B4. Press enter. It will automatically add the end sub line. To copy the specified range from the dataset sheet, write sheets dot range B4 to D16. Here you can use your preferred sheet name. You have to change this cell reference as per your need also. Then dot copy. Give a space destination. In the destination parameter, I'll insert the range of the particular sheet where I want to paste the copied data. I'm using the B4 range in the destination worksheet. You could use your ones. Now I'll clear the clipboard to free up memory application dot cut copy mode equal to false now press the run sub or user from button or the f5 key on the keyboard to execute the code minimize the vv editor the data is extracted from the source worksheet which is dataset worksheet and now visible in the destination worksheet in the second method, we'll extract data from the sheet named dataset to the copy paste worksheet using the copy paste feature in VVA code. Undoubtedly, this is an easy and time saving task. Go to the developer tab in the code group, select Visual Basic. In the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window, from the Insert tab, select Module. Now, I'll write down my VVA code into the new module. First, let's close Module 1. Sub Copy Paste. Press enter. In this method, I'll again copy data in the B4 to D16 range from the dataset worksheet. So I'll write sheets. As the index argument, I'll use the dataset worksheet. Now I'll active the copy paste worksheet. To do this, I'll write sheets. Here, as the index argument, I'll use the copy paste worksheet. While using the worksheet name, make sure that the spellings are same as the worksheet name. Dot activate. Now I'll select the B4 range in the copy paste worksheet. And here I'll paste my copied data. Now I'll turn off the cut copy mode. And that's it. Now run the code using the run sub or user from button. Minimize the VV editor, 
and you can see that data is extracted from the sheet name dataset to the copy paste worksheet. Last but not the least, you can also extract data from one sheet to another using the paste special command in the VVA code. Again, I'll insert another module. Navigate to the developer tab, select Visual Basic, jump to the insert tab, click on module, it will insert module 3. Let's start typing the VVA code. Sub paste special. Press enter. As I'm going to copy data from the B4 to D16 range from the dataset worksheet, so I'll write sheets dataset range B4 to D16 dot copy. And I'll paste them in the paste spatial worksheet. To do this, write sheets paste spatial range B4 to D16 dot paste spatial the advantage of using the paste spatial command is that you can paste on the values just on the format or many more with it now turn off the cut copy mode so application dot cut copy mode is equal to false and that's it close the vv editor in the developer tab click on macros or press alt plus f8 on the keyboard it will open the macro dialog box. In the macro dialog box, select your recently created macro paste spatial and click on run. And here's the final result. Now I'll share a bonus trick with you. I'll copy the data from the workbook, extract data from one sheet to another and the worksheet named dataset. Then I'll paste it into sheet 1 of my current workbook named extract data. First, I have to insert a new module for this workbook. Go to the developer tab, click on visual basic, then go to the insert tab and select module. Here you can see the workbook name, extract data and module 1 for this workbook. Now I'll paste my VVA code into this module. Here extract data from another workbook is the sub procedure name and I'll copy the data from the extract data from one sheet to another workbook. The data is in the B4 to D16 range in the dataset worksheet of this workbook. And I'll paste it in the sheet 1 of my current workbook in the B4 to D16 range using the paste special method. To run the code, press F5 or click on run sub or user from button. Minimize the VV editor. As a result, you'll see the pasted cells in the current workbook in sheet 1. While working with the Excel files containing macros, keep one thing in mind. If you download any macro-enabled Excel workbook which has the Excel SM extension, then you have to do a workaround before opening the file. Right-click on the file. From the context menu, select Properties. Here, in the General section, check the box of Unblock and click OK. Then, you can open the file. Otherwise, the macro will be disabled and you cannot work with it. In this tutorial, I have shown three methods to extract data from one sheet to another in Excel using VVA. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.